mental health is a growing concern for students our age. But what is mental health and how does it affect me? Mental health is important to overall health and well-being. Mental health affects how you feel, think, and act, and mental health plays a role in how you handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. For adolescents, depression, substance use, and suicide are important concerns. In 2022, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention rec reported that in 2018 through 2019, adolescents aged 12 through 17 experienced the following. 15.1% had a major depressive episode. 1.6% had an alcohol use disorder. 15.7% made a suicide plan. 36.7% had a persistent feeling of sadness and hopelessness. 18.8% seriously considered attempting suicide. 8.9% attempted suicide. 4.1% had a substance use disorder. 15.7% made a suicide attempt. 2.5% made a suicide attempt requiring medical treatment. So, what are we doing here at Bullet Creek Middle School to help? We have established a group called Peer to Peer. Everyone is important and everyone matters at these units. So, what is Peer to Peer? Peer to Peer is a group of your classmates whose mission is to educate students about depression and depressive illnesses convey knowledge to students in order to reduce stigma, raise awareness, encourage help seeking when needed, and to promote early detection of depression and related illnesses. Peer-to-peer -peer also strives to reduce suicide, create a community-wide campaign to share knowledge with all students, identify someone whose students feel comfortable talking with, and be able to refer students to appropriate resources. students in our building, they often say they don't have peers, friends, actually come up to them and say, hi, I need help with a mental illness that I'm struggling with. But they see it on Snapchat and Instagram, TikTok. They see it and they know how to respond to that kind of stuff in a way that I can't as a teacher and just wouldn't mean the same thing. We know that students are more likely to talk to other students, even above well-meaning adults. And so this is the concept that really drove the beginning of the peer-to-peer -peer depression awareness program. And it's been so great to see over 10 years, we started with 27 students in five high schools, and now we're in almost every school in our county. And we've expanded to different counties, different states, and we know that it's working. I think the peer-to-peer -peer program has really helped the school climate, talking about depression awareness more openly, referring to treatment more frequently, uh, just being more aware of the problem of depression in schools. And so I think it's really helped overall with students on an individual level and a macro level with getting connected with care. As a teacher, I see that the work we do matters because Students in our building routinely say they know the symptoms of depression and anxiety. They know how to get help, and they know how to help a friend. I think the value of having the young people involved in peer-to-peer -peer and their tech being so technologically savvy is they can get information about a kid that's struggling, and then we can help them almost immediately because sometimes kids would suffer in silence in their bedrooms or their homes or their cars, but if they post something, that's a direct cry for help. 
And they want to help. The kids really do want to help. They are taking more responsibility. We are not training students to be counselors. Their main role is to educate their peers about mental health issues and reduce the stigma around it, and then promote help seeking and serve as a resource for their peers. One thing that's really cool about this program is that the students don't want to just stop this mental health education and advocacy in high school. They want to continue it through their college years and beyond. Peer-to-peer -peer was really important to me in high school because it was a way to have language around depression and anxiety, which at the time a lot of my friends were dealing with, but it gave me like the language to talk to them and a background and like an understanding. So in 2009, when I was part of the first cohort, um, I definitely remember that conversation around depression, anxiety, and other mental health issues was more hushed and not talked about in the open as much. Um, and that was something that saddened me as somebody that understood that this is an issue that affects anyone regardless of race, identity, gender, and the fact that it's just blossomed into this impactful movement that connects youth and professionals alike is really amazing. And I'm really happy to see that other organizations are partnering with Peer-to-Peer -peer and that Peer-to-Peer -peer is getting the recognition it deserves. My favorite campaign was last year when we did uh, Depression is Real, Help is Too. Part of that is because two years ago we did Depression is Real, So is Help, and then for the second year we did Depression is Real, Help is Too. Well, we've done a lot of great campaigns, but I think the one I liked the best was it's time to talk about mental health and we got those little disposable watches and so the kids could, um, when they answered a question, they could get a little watch about it's time to talk about mental health and it was all related to it's time's up, but we've got to start dealing with this now. We're very much in your face campaign. We're not, <laughs> we're not very subtle. My favorite thing is, you know, helping my friends and like helping you guys as peer to peer members. So I like helping out people. So my favorite memory from participating in P2P was our conferences at the end of the year when everyone came together and got to talk about what the other schools were doing and you got to see their campaigns and you were really able to look at how everyone got the same information and then they went totally different directions with it, which was really cool. I loved that. So I think my favorite memory from my time in the peer-to-peer -peer program um, was when we started to put together one of our first campaigns. So we had decided that we wanted to, as a way to address stigma and kind of normalize the face of depression and how it can look so different um, for different folks, we wanted to pull kind of like images of different celebrities. So we had stress balls last year for our campaign and this is what they look like. And we had our slogan from last year, it's probably hard to see, but it says depression is real, help is too on the back and it says LMS peer to peer on the front. First time we did the stress balls, the concern from uh, some of our administrators was like, you know, who's going to pick up the stress balls? And so Brian and I were purposely last in the auditorium, so we, could, we were planning walking down the hall and picking up all the stress balls, and there literally wasn't one. There was not a, a single stress ball out anywhere, and that's when we are like, hey, maybe they're getting it. I really want to thank the University of Michigan Depression Center and the Depression Center staff team for making this happen. It's something that is a huge privilege to be a part of and I'm honored to, to serve with them. I just wanted to thank Peer to Peer uh, for helping out at my school, at the schools um, around this area. Um, every year that we got together it felt like a community. We were able to bring everybody into the same room to have to talk about what they've been doing in the community. It was really inspiring. So I just want to thank you guys. I just wanted to thank uh, Depression Awareness and the Peer-to-Peer -peer program through the U of M Depression Center. Um, it was so awesome to have the opportunity in high school and to see that 10 years later, it's still going strong and growing and expanding. And I hope that that continues for the years to come. I think the partnership with the University of Michigan has been fantastic. Um, we're so fortunate to be 10 minutes away from, from the university, and anything that we've wanted from peer to peer or the university, uh, all we have to do is just ask. And then even when we've wanted stuff um, that hasn't been peer to peer depression awareness related, um, they've been willing to stop up and come in and help and give us anything that we needed. So I think that partnership's been fantastic, and we're fortunate to be so close to have that resource.
Bold Creek Middle School's peer-to-peer -peer group wants to make a difference in our school. Here is a list of 8th grade students that are part of our peer-to-peer -peer group. Here is a list of 7th grade students that are part of our peer-to-peer -peer group. Each month there will be a specific theme. Our peer-to-peer -peer group will do special activities to help promote the message for that month. Earlier this year, our peer-to-peer -peer groups spent the day at the high school working with other peer-to-peer -peer groups around the county planning our year's events. If you are struggling emotionally and or mentally and need help, don't be afraid to ask for help. Please seek out a peer-to-peer -peer member and they will listen to you and direct you to a caring adult. Remember, you are not alone. You are important and you matter.